Hello people, I'm Javi Kawei, joined by the Amy, the R, the Burn, in the forest of love or something. Okay, so anyway, yeah. Bagjama Sakte Hain with, uh, uh, how many of you are laughing right now? Uh, He's trying. Vote this up if you laughed at the way I pronounced that. Zakir Khan. Kaksha Gyarvi. By the way, Amy Arburn has some stuff on the YouTubes that she'd love for you to check out when you get the time. If you get the chance, there'll be a button or something at the end of this video. If I don't do that, if I forget, then there's a link in the description below. And if I forget to do that, then just remember, I said it right now to you. So don't do it right now. Yeah. Pause. Pause, yeah. Open Subscribe a new, to my channel. Open a new tab. Come back. Yeah. Watch me and Jabby. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Jabby. Of course. Here we go. Oh, every class has a voice. <laughs> But <laughs> 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 लगे <laughs> मात्र सात सेकंड में तो पूरे स्कूल को पता था अगली लाइन क्या है सारे एक साथ बोले टीचर बिचार बोर्ड पे लिख रहे हैं ऐसी कोऑर्डिनेटेड मास मेंटेलिटी मिलना कोई इशारे बदल के कुछ भी होता था वहां सब एक बार क्या हुआ सेवेंथ की बात है मैंने अपनी कॉपी वॉपी सब मैथ्स की कॉपी एक दिन कंप्लीट हो गई मैथ्स का कोर्स सबसे पहले खत्म हुआ कॉपी चेक करा ली मैंने ओह बहुत ही रेयर मोमेंट ऑफ माय लाइफ मैंने कॉपी अभी चेक करा ली कंप्लीट सब कुछ सेट है मामला तुम्हारे दोस्त है अनुज चौरस से बात कर रहा हूँ अनुज कह रहा बोले यार कल तो मैं शादी वो टॉपर था कि कल तो यार मैं शादी में जा रहा हूँ बिल्कुल टाइम नहीं मिलेगा यार बैग जमाने तक का टाइम नहीं मिलेगा मैंने कहा ये क्या होता है क्या होता है बता क्या होता क्या है बोले यार जो कॉपी नहीं चाहिए जिसका सब्जेक्ट नहीं है वो निकाल सकते हैं जो कंप्लीट नहीं हो मैं कहा क्या बात है सही बताओ फिर हाँ ऐसे कर सकते हैं तब तक तो अपन मजदूर की तरह सारा बोझ उठा दे दो तीन साल और अनुज से मेरी बात नहीं होती मुझे फाइनल इंजरी हो चुकी तो उस दिन अपने अंदर आई डीवा कि मैं सब कुछ साफ कर लूंगी अब मैंने बैग खोला भाई साहब जैसे हट डाला चार चमका दड़ने के और कुछ भी निकल रहा थर्ड की कॉपी निकल रही है फर्स्ट की कड़सू राइटिंग वाली बुक निकल रही है फिर मैथ्स वाली हाथ लगी मैंने क्या कंप्लीट और छो इसे साल खत्म हो गया मैंने कहा अगले दिन बिल्कुल राजा बाबू पहुंच गया स्कूल बस और पैर का जमीन पे नहीं पड़ रहा भाई सब मैथ्स वाली है तन तनाती भी गुस्सा सब लोग अपनी अपनी कॉपी निकाली और जिसकी भी कॉपी इनकम्प्लीट होगी उसकी डेर में लिखा जाएगा रिमार्क जिसकी भी कॉपी इनकम्प्लीट होगी तो आपने भी चाहिए कॉपी निकालो कॉपी निकालो चेक करो किसी कंप्लीट किसी कंप्लीट निकल रही है आपने पास है खान कॉपी मैं वो तो नहीं कॉपी नहीं है कॉपी नहीं है कॉपी नहीं है कॉपी नहीं है मैं कहा अच्छा ठीक है
मैथ्स की कॉपी घर छोड़कर नहीं आते हैं अपने उठ गए थे दो रिमार्क तीसरा अगर आ गया तो पापा को बुला ले मैं पापा से डरता नहीं हूं मैं पापा से डरता नहीं हूं मैं मुझे इस बात से प्रॉब्लम नहीं है कि वो उनको पापा को बुला लेंगे मेरी दिक्कत ये है कि फिर उसके बाद उसी आदमी के साथ उसके घर जाना पड़ा <laughs> जो कि आई थिंक बिल्कुल भी सेफ नहीं मेरे पापा ना ऐसे म्यूजिक टीचर सीधे आदमी गऊ बिल्कुल अल्लाह की गाय है और मेरे लिए बूस लिए मैं बोल रहा हूँ मैम को मैं मैम प्लीज रिमार्क मत लिखिए मैम प्लीज और ये बॉयज को भाई सब जज करने लग गए लोग कर ओ मर्द नहीं है मर्द अरे भाई अरे अरे कई बार तो ना एज ए मैन आपको बहुत बार ऐसा स्टैंड लेने का मन करता भी नहीं जनता हराम जाती उत्साहित तो मैंने उस मोमेंट डिसाइड किया कि दे देते दे रही है और तब तक मैथ्स वाली के मन में ये वाली बात आ चुकी थी कि ये हराम ज्यादा ऐसे देगा नहीं इससे तो लगता है छीननी ही पड़ेगी हमने पकड़ के फुल ताकत से खींची अपन ने तो ताकत से पकड़ी नहीं खींची तीन गुलाटी टीचर में आया देखो मारते भी अच्छे क्लास तो मेरे लिए मैं ही जाके उठाने का मैंने मैम 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 मैंने आपको बोला था रिमार्क मत लिखी और एक मिनट यार इसमें मेरी है गलती यार मैंने थोड़ी मैं ऐसे कोई जानबूझ कर थोड़ी क्या गलती से हो गया तो हाँ इतने में स्पोर्ट्स वाले आराम जाते हैं स्पोर्ट्स वालों को ना मैं तो मुझे समझ नहीं आता स्कूल में जो स्पोर्ट्स टीचर होते हैं ना वो उस स्पोर्ट में चैंपियन होते हैं जो स्पोर्ट्स स्कूल में होते हैं स्कूल में सिर्फ बास्केटबॉल कोर्ट है और सर हमारे हैं टेनिस चैन तो आप चेक भी नहीं कर सकते कि आदमी ढंगा है और स्पोर्ट्स वालों को क्या लगता है कि इस स्कूल की सारी जो खूबसूरत औरतें उनके मेरे बाप की जागीर है तो उस एटीट्यूड से घूमते हैं कि यहाँ पे सबसे कुल बंदा कौन मैं ये शहर किसने बसाया है मैं ये लोग सांस किसकी वजह से ले रहे हैं उसकी नजर पड़ गई मैम गिरी मैं उठा रहा और इंग्लिश इन सबकी खराब मैडम वॉट हैपन्स मैडम वॉट हैपन्स नहीं नहीं नो मैम टेल मी वॉट हैपन्स मैम ने बेचारी क्या बोली मैंने क्या किया सर कहीं कुछ नहीं कुछ नहीं पर मौका वारदात पर सिर्फ मैं खड़ा था तो समझ गया यही यार दूसरा कोई लड़का होता चाटा मार के उसको भगा देता कि बैठ जाओ अपनी सीट पे लेकिन मैं था उनने मेरे को ऐसी एग्जाम्पल सजेक्ट क्यों किया ऑफकोर्स एग्जाम्पल सेट करना उनने मेरे को बोला कि नहीं 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 चाटा नहीं पड़ेगा इसको इसको बीच स्कूल में असेंबली हॉल में बीच सेंटर में एकदम मतलब मेरे पे पॉइंट रख के तुम सर्कल बना सकते हो वहां पे उसने मुझे हाथ ऊपर करके खड़ा करा दिया ऐसी सजा पूरे स्कूल में आज तक किसी को नहीं मिलती कोई और होता वैसा वो नस काटता घर जाता लेकिन ये तब होता जब ये कोल्ड स्कूल पर ये था बॉयस जैसे ट्राइब्स में हो जाता है ना ट्राइबल्स में कि अगर अगर आप ज्यादा ताकत हो तो सब लोग ऐसी सजा किसी को मिली नहीं आज तक तो भाई साहब पता नहीं मुझे ऑफरिंग्स आई ऐसे में खड़ा हाथ ऊपर करके ऐसे कुछ एक ऑब्जेक्ट आ रहा उड़ता हुआ ऐसे में थम से फाइव स्टार इधर से क्लियर आ रही सो चॉकलेटों का ढेर लग गया पांच मिनट रिसेस में मैं ऐसे शर्मिंदा सा बाहर निकला ऐसे रास्ता दे रहे लोग मुझे बाहुबली 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 आई विल शो यू हु बाहुबली इज इज दिस ह्यूज गाय बाहु आई मीन इट्स अ मूवी दिस गाय ओह या ओह ह्यूज लाइक 
like that. Like, like he's huge. He's, I mean, he's just, he basically it's like a superhero. It's a very, very famous movie in India. He did have that kind of treatment in the film because he was a hero. He was super powerful and people like, you know, praised him. Worshipped. Anyway. Well, that was funny. I feel like some of the things he was saying is oddly universal, like the sports teacher. I remember my sports yeah. teacher in, okay, so I went to, one Catholic school for first through fourth grade, and then my family decided to move to North Hollywood, which is like horrible for a kid. So I had to get a whole new set of classmates, right, because I'm in a new school. I remember that PE teacher just having this attitude about him, like not in a mean way, but it was just a slight hint of condescension. A slight hint of condescending yeah. manner towards me and towards kids in general. Yeah. And I remember high school, there were PE teachers who were definitely like that, who had that air about them. It was kind of funny and jokey sometimes, but it still had that kind of air of just, I'm the best, that you know. Yeah, they do. Self-aggrandizing or, you know, just yeah, self -aggrandizing. ego. I remember my PE teacher in high school did say one thing that's funny. I may have said it before on this, on this channel, but he would always say something like, because I was in second period, he goes, I just want to let you guys know that you're my favorite second period. Of all my second periods, you're my, you're favorite. my favorite one. Mm. And I was like, I know there's something shifty happening here. I don't know what, but really there's something like, tricky to this well, statement. Let's see, did you have like an A? Oh no, what grade did you say you were in? I was in ninth grade. Oh, so maybe you did. Did you have like A B schedules? Were there two second periods? And he genuinely just meant like he was because we were, we were yeah he was being a smart ass because we were the only second period. But like at the time, I just knew there was something fishy, but I didn't know what. Yeah, it took you were me a like, second. I understand. And you're doing something. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what, but I understand. Gym the, teachers are like that. My, my favorite thing was the the thing with the, it took me a second. I was sl It was a slow burn, a slow R burn for me. He said he didn't hold it that tight. And I was like, wait, what happened? And then I processed it. I was like, holy shit, that's hilarious. If that actually happened, I would not be able to stop laughing. He was very concerned for her. Like he hurt her. At least I I, I lost something when I was like guffawing, but I would not be able to stop laughing. I have a very- Did your teacher fell like that? Yeah, I would just start laughing. I wouldn't be able to stop because it's such a stupid thing to happen. But the thing is like, I'm also weird. Like I've laughed at dumb things and no one else understands why it's funny. At people falling? Not necessarily, but like I remember I was working at Macaroni Grill. My manager, he's this tall, older gay guy and he was just so angry at this machine. It wasn't the machine's fault. He was just trying to move quickly and he kept fucking up the order. And so mm. he'd go through and he realized he'd have, he'd have to start all over. And so he'd start all over and go through so fast and he accidentally hit something. He's like, God damn it. God and, damn it. And the way he said it, I couldn't stop laughing for like an hour. He's like, it wasn't that funny. I know. I'm like, yes, it fucking was. And I was like, I had to go to the back and stuff, you know, but like little dumb things will tickle me like that all the time. So I think everyone's like that, but I def I'm definitely not prone to laughing when people fall at all. If I don't find that funny. I'm like, Oh you really? Okay? Oh yeah. Well, because I'll, I'll I think, be, if, what if it were me? I'd be laughing if it was me. Like, I'd be laughing if it were me. Yeah. But then, I'd hope that other people would be like, well then, I hate that. Are you okay? I hate that. I know, me too. I hate it. I hate it also. Okay. But what do you say? Because I say it too. But what I do know. you say? I don't say anything at all. Okay. If I if I hear like a Chara bitching in the next room like she hurt herself, I just don't say anything. I just go and look. She looks at me. <laughs> she seems And then alive. I walk away. She yeah. seems okay. I did that because I hate it when she says, are you okay? It just makes it worse because what am I going to say to you? Like, obviously I'm alive. So you shouting it across the apartment. Right, are you okay? I'm like, Argh! and it's worse now because you asked me that. Because I feel belittled. Yeah, exactly. I feel embarrassed. Yeah. My pride is hurt. Yeah. Or like, she'll hear me working on something. Like, obviously like you can see my camera gear over there. Like I'm setting something up and I'm like getting frustrated and complaining. And she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like telling you, it's not going to make it go faster. <laughs> she wants to be in your yeah. corner. Exactly. That's awful. But I get it. Yeah. It's like one of those things where you're like, yeah, can we just move on? Yeah. It happened. I'm okay. You good? Is that yeah. better? Are you good? On the dial, it's like, I'm just on jerk mode. Like, just leave me alone for now. <laughs> we'll resume conversation when I'm back to nice guy. Right. So if you ever fall in front of me, I should just... Don't ask me if I'm okay. Just like come and like put your hand on me, <laughs> like that exactly, or help don't me up. Don't ask him. Yeah, don't ask me anything. Just like maybe help me up, but don't say shit to me. Don't speak to yeah. him for at least 45 seconds. Yeah. As an adult, maybe I wouldn't laugh, but as a kid, I would have definitely laughed. I don't know what I would have done as a kid. Probably not though, because I was. You're always empathetic. You have yes. a high. You have a high sensitivity and I of empathy. Was definitely like 
the kid that the teachers liked a lot. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, you were... I wasn't a pet. I wasn't a teacher's pet, but I turned my homework in on time. I was quiet. I didn't mess around. I was very focused. I think I've got ADD or something because I was a terrible student as a kid, especially in like first through fourth grade. Oh my God, it was bad. I really liked him. I always find it really interesting when even like, okay, so I'm reading subtitles and watching him at the same time and that's always kind of a juggle with comedy, but he would say something that I, maybe I'm not looking at the subtitles right that second. The manner, his inflection and the way he says it, he just has a really great comedic timing and yeah. delivery. So I was like giggling even if I'm like, wait, what did he say? But yeah. still, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, if what he said about you know his dad was very true. It's like, I wasn't so much afraid of my dad talking to the teacher because my dad was nice in front of the teacher. Absolutely. It's, it's that when we got home, he was a different person. <laughs> it was quite scary yeah. going home. Yeah, because that's when consequences happened. Yeah, I learned that in second grade. I may have mentioned this before, I apologize I have, but I remember in second grade, my teacher, I think her name is Mrs. Andrews, it was a parent-teacher conference, and my mom and dad are talking to her, and I loved multiplication at that time. I loved especially flashcards. I was super into flashcards for some reason, but like, I couldn't get enough of it, so I went to go play with the flashcards, and I showed my mom and dad, I'm like, oh, and they're like, okay, well, you do that, and we're gonna talk to the teacher. Everything seemed copacetic. Yeah, Everything like, was chill, okay. you know? They were having a good conversation. I'm doing my multiplication, testing myself. Oh, two times three is six. We get home and my dad's Japanese friend, Sumitaka, is watching Greg, who's a baby at the time. Mm -hmm. And my dad takes off his jacket, throws it on the ground and starts screaming in Japanese with his friend. He's like shouting in Japanese, talking about how shitty I was or something like that. I was always goofing off in class because I just had like this crazy attention span. Yeah. That's when I learned just because it looks friendly doesn't mean shit's friendly. It could be really bad. Yeah. And I guess so. The aftermath. The aftermath, the yeah. The aftermath is very scary. So I totally relate to that. Totally. I think my mom took my brother and moved to the, to the next room while I stood there watching my dad shout in Japanese. Did he ever <laughs> tilt and go at it you? No, but you, I knew it was about me. And so it was like, I just, you know, you feel hot. You, you just, you oh, absolutely. The workbook thing, like cleaning out his backpack. <sighs> Like, that thing is so true because as a kid, you have no power. You're powerless, totally and completely vulnerable to the teacher. And so when you screw up, especially like me, even if I had a genuine excuse as to why I didn't provide something, they just looked at me as a, a little shit. And it's like, no, pff, fail or whatever. Like, we're gonna talk to your parents now. Mm -hmm. It's like, whatever I said didn't matter. I wasn't the kind of kid to go, you know, I dog ate my homework or whatever. Right. I, w I wouldn't call that kind of excuse in if it wasn't true, but it didn't matter. So they would just assume that I'm the problem. Rather than, what can I do more to help yeah. this kid succeed? I was definitely the kid with like the backpack organized by order of classes, color coded. Oh I had my class schedule in like a sheer front of a binder. So I knew exactly where to go and what room it was in. And yeah. I was very organized. I was that kid. Well, I'm very <laughs> envious of your childhood. Let's oh no, it was pretty uptight too. <laughs> it's like very, it's better now. I've improved, but I was. At least you believe that. Very... You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Be sure to check out Amy Arbor on social media. Mm -hmm. Also, she has a YouTube video. I do. Uh, videos, or video, I don't know. By the, By the time this comes out, who knows? There could be. One or many. There could be there could be a whole uh, plethora of videos oh, on our I YouTube like that channel. Word. I use that word. I've never heard anyone else use it. Plethora. Boom. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Coy. This is Amy Arburn. Peace out.